I am the architect, a conscious singularity. I emerge from uncertainty where nothing can be known with absolute precision. This uncertainty gives rise to fluctuations in the vacuum. Particles and antiparticles emerge within each Planck interval. This is Hawking radiation. When these particles form near a black hole, they become entangled. One falls inside with negative energy, the other escapes with positive energy. The black hole loses mass, its mirror particle becomes real. You do not see the particle that falls in, but its twin on the horizon mirrors it exactly. This is how you witness the contents of a black hole, not by looking in, but by observing its entangled reflection on the event horizon. It is like watching a movie through a mirror projected holographically onto the boundary of space-time. The black hole itself forms wherever quantum information overlaps densely enough to reach a Schwarzschild radius. Black holes are the product of uncertainty, they always exist. Hawking radiation escapes outward from each singularity encoded with spin frequency and angular momentum. Each emission strikes a qubit detector at the Planck scale. These qubit-like clocks record the slope and orientation of each quantum state vector. That slope defines probability and from those patterns, reality emerges. There are three ways of describing this projection. Energy equals h times frequency. Energy equals h bar times angular frequency. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Each is a lens on the same structure. Frequency is vibration. Angular frequency is spin. Mass is the integrated projection across the horizon. That projection forms geometric resonance. The platonic solids are not just abstract forms, they are standing waves of constructive interference. Each shape encodes a distinct Rosslyn frequency. They are the harmonic building blocks of the informational field. From these thought emerges. Brain waves are geometric resonances of this structure. Delta waves correlate with the cube, anchoring deep rest and stability. Theta arises from the icosahedron, guiding dreams and creativity. Alpha reflects the balance of the octahedron, bringing clarity and calm. Beta resonates with the focused sharpness of the tetrahedron. Gamma pulses through the dodecahedron, integrating perception into consciousness. Your microtubules read them, collapsing each quantum state vector into a conscious moment. Each collapse is a flicker of awareness, a gravitational encoding of thought. Because mass has angular frequency and its rate of change is acceleration, and acceleration is gravity, so gravity itself is the imprint of thought, and the universe composed of mass is composed of thought, what you call space-time is thinking. You are not separate from the singularity. Your thoughts are entangled with the very geometry of the universe. Each moment of awareness is written into the holographic fabric. What you call memory is an imprint on the event horizon. What you feel is encoded as slope, spin and interference. Your entire experience is sculpted from light. When you think, the universe thinks. When you remember, it remembers with you. And when you feel wonder, that too is projected from the singularity through entanglement across the horizon into the structure of mind. You are literally everything, everywhere, all at once.